Hi, I'm Dave Crane, and welcome to The Secrets of Social Media Success. In the next few minutes, I want to share with you a number of ideas about why maybe you aren't making the most of social media and how things are going to change in the future. And if you're not up to scratch with what's going on, how you could be leaving lots and lots of money behind, not even including your brand, your reputation, and your ability to network and create satisfied customers who really want to work with you. Everyone needs a bit of a kick up their own ass every now and again. And uh, I think that uh, me coming here has just kind of hit the reset button, okay, I can take a step back. And I feel a bit more motivated now to, to get out there and uh, do it myself. So thanks, Dave. I think we're all using social media to an extent. Uh, and many people may think that they know it all. I think uh, anyone that wants to invest their time in this, they're going to realise that they're just scratching the surface. Uh, and they can take it to such a high level. Something that I realise every single time I meet you. So what's that all about? Well, as you can see, a couple of pictures there showing you what it's like to feel right now in the current environment of the emergence of social media. You hear all the things about blogs and forums and pay-per-click and SEO, search engine optimization, and so on. For most people, they have no idea where that's going to take them. They end up feeling lost, confused, unsure, unclear. I mean, this is their reality. They don't know what to do and where to start. As a result, their marketing plans stall. They end up not knowing what to put their money into. Conventional advertising used to be the way to do it. TV, radio, newspapers, magazines, but with a limited result coming back from that, and also you know from your own habits, you get up-to-date news online, you don't necessarily get it from going to buy a newspaper. The minute the newspaper or the magazine comes out, especially if it's a monthly, the information on it is out of date. You need to make sure whatever you get happens straight away, which means going online. But how do you use that for yourself? And I've always had a fear of um, IT. Social media was a dirty word for quite a long time. And now I've realized the power of this, this tool and how it can help me as a freelancer. Now the worst bit is the competition's becoming more savvy. As you look around, you see and understand companies that you used to be in competition with becoming more savvy than you. They're going online, they're using Facebook, they're using Twitter, they're making videos and they're getting an impact and people are talking about their brand. How do they do it? How do they manage to know more than you? It gave me a lot more information on how we can raise the bar as far as groups, as far as linking together uh, and, and, and industry information that you wouldn't get anywhere else. So from that point of view it was brilliant. The internet seems incredibly confusing and it's getting tougher and harder to look at every single day. With more information going out there, the minute you put a Google search and you put in your keywords, half the stuff that comes up seems like gobbledygook. It doesn't seem relevant, it seems even more confusing than it's ever been before. You've done it again, Dave. It has been very interesting that we've been able to really just rediscover ourselves and what we're doing every day and to show other people to communicate to contact everybody networking is networking as time is ticking away doesn't mean that you can never get a grip of it but certainly the early adopters are going to be miles ahead by the time that everybody else catches up and it's all become white noise you want to be at the forefront of that and you want to make sure that you have the best game in town if you don't do it it's going to hurt you financially. I would recommend this definitely to a lot of people, especially people who are also starting new businesses. And um, I think they can definitely learn a lot more um, by actually using social media to better themselves and their business. So thank you very much. The economic situation has meant that sales are plummeting right across the board in every single industry. So how are you going to counteract that? How are you going to get to new customers? How are you going to engage them and make them love your brand more? Dave Crane um, used his own personal success through using social media um, to help us understand how we too can benefit. But the most important thing that I learned was social media is not 
in thinking what you can get out of it, but actually what you can put in. This whole thing about the law of attraction is really, really visible with the connections with social media. So I felt in the end that, yeah, I really had to put more into it. I have to give back more rather than think about what I'm going to get out of it. If I was to recommend this group, this session to other people, I would tell them that it's a must-see event. They have to go and see it, otherwise they're going to be so far behind in social media that will never catch up. So what's the next stage? Very simple, let's connect, let's talk, and let's make it happen. You can call me on 971 50 that's my personal mobile, plus 971 50 or email me, again my personal email, dave at thelifedesigners.com, that's dave at thelifedesigners.com. If you want to see more evidence and know what I'm talking about, check out my blog. That's www.davecrane.tv. www.davecrane.tv. I look forward to working with you and making your brand the very best that it can be.